Richard Fleischner, La Jolla Project, 1984. Richard Fleischner is an artist who really thinks about creating a sense of place. My sense of his work is that it's a very, very intuitive and at the same time very much based on geometry. Uh, he looks at the alignments of things. He looks at the placement of trees. He looks at the relationship of the human body to this much larger space that's kind of in between architecture and landscape. So we actually built this in plywood for Richard Fleischner so that he could make final adjustments to not uh, the individual parts, the individual components, but the arrangement, how one uh, grouping related to another grouping. And so he was able to fine tune the uh, various alignments, which is really uh, the relationship of things, uh, the, the distances between elements are more than anything what this piece is about. When you walk through the space, you are aware of different views and aware of different perspectives and might think uh, that somebody has really thought about what's going on here in this total space. Um, students call this work Stonehenge which is just fine, it, although it doesn't reference any celestial happenings the way the real Stonehenge does. It do, this work does consist of columns and uh, connections with those columns. They're all a human scale that is derived from two sizes of stone that came about because Richard was inspired playing with his kids with blocks and creating um, uh, sort of building structures with those blocks. People like to sit on them uh, and study, read, contemplate. People have chosen this area for weddings, for memorials, for all kinds of things, so I think it clearly does uh, create a sense of place. There's actually a sod plain, uh, depressed sort of sunken grass plain that is very, very subtle, almost imperceptible, that uh, we created as part of the, the, the center, uh, the kind of empty center of this uh, series of different uh, arrangements of stone. And he's very involved in the, uh, the life of the natural stone. Uh, there are always uh, problems uh, in public sculpture of uh, graffiti and things like that, and there's a tendency for, uh, for institutions to want to cover their uh, uh, stone with uh, anti-graffiti products and we have resisted doing that so that this stone remains natural and when it rains the stone darkens and the stone has a kind of a life to it the honed surfaces very important to them there's traces on those honed surfaces of the saw cut uh, there's a, a very very careful uh, I remember uh, I remember Richard Fleischner talking about this notion of critical distance, of being able to sort of stand back and let the material be what it wants to be. Let the stone be stone and sort of in a way, like Louis Kahn said, uh, you know, what does the brick uh, want to tell you? What does the material itself want to uh, sort of express and, and let it exist on its own terms?